Stemming in 1966 from emerging three companies, Ithac Compieri is now the major shipbuilding company for P. Compieri, a holding of the IRI group which constitutes the largest shipbuilding and naval repair complex in the Mediterranean area and which represents 90% of Italian potentiality in this field. In Campieri is at the helm of nine companies, which in turn controlled eight shipyards, equipped to build any type of vessel, and nine repair yards. The holding employs about 30,000 persons, with an annual production capacity of about 1.5 million deadweight tons, and employing some 12,500 persons, Ito Campieri runs three yards at Montalcone for the construction of tankers up to 350,000 weight tons, at Genova Sestri for vessels up to 140,000 weight tons, and at Castellamare di Stavia for vessels up to 90,000 weight tons. The Mugiano shipyards of La Spezia and the Orlando shipyards of Leghorn are likewise associated with Ito Cantieri. The company headquarters are at Trieste, where the various company departments are also located, including the Organization Information System Department, whose objective is the development of the most modern electronic data processing techniques. This department is equipped with a 262,000 core word Univac 1106 computer provided with eight disk and six tape units, allowing access to files of hundreds of millions of data. The console controls the processing of the numerous technical and administrative procedures which are an integral part of the company management. Some ten terminals situated at the main information user points are connected to the computer. The design department, whose task is the development of the vessel's general plan and the assessing of cost estimates, is also connected to the computer through terminals. The design department turns to the computer for calculations of a various nature, such as, for example, naval architecture, propulsion plant designing and checking, and static and dynamic structural analysis. However, for the purpose of a detailed examination of one of the automized technical procedures, let us follow the designing and building of the hull. The shape of a ship's hull externally is described by the body plan. This plan is initially hand-drawn in about 20 sections. Pertinent data are fed into the computer, which is thus capable of defining mathematically the shape of the hull and consequently of supplying any other section desired. It is further possible to obtain a paper tape from which the complete body plan can be drawn by introducing it into an automatic drawing machine. The Kongsberg drawing table, on which can be seen one of these plans, has been modelled for the drawing up of one to ten scale plans of the largest vessel that can be built by Ito Cantieri at Montfaucon. The drawing surface is 3.70 by 2.60 metres, the maximum drawing speed 4 metres per minute, and a drafting position 1 tenth of a millimetre. This machine performs the drawing by decoding SI parameters, that is, by following a sequence of elementary controls made up of straight segments and circle and parabola arcs. The computer provides for splitting the drawing to be made into such a sequence of elementary controls. The system, as developed by Del Campieri, provides not only for the storing of the external shape of the hull, but also of its main internal parts, namely decks, flats, deck houses, bulkheads, tanks, double bottoms, thus creating a complete description of the ship's geometrical characteristics. On the basis of this description, it is possible to define data on the outlines of the plates, profiles, and all main hull structures, so rendering available the data required for cutting and working. The information is then stored in a data bank on magnetic disks 
for reference for further development of the ship's design. About three kilometers from the central computer, the technical department may be supplied of this information by means of a Kongsberg graphic terminal, which we now see in operation. In this connection, noteworthy is the decision to set up at the company's main offices, also the technical department for executive designing and work planning. In addition to other advantages, the centralization of this department facilitates the automation of a far broader range of complete procedures in relation to specifications, working documents, and drawings. The Kongsberg graphic terminal is set up on a mini computer connected to the central computer. It is controlled by a typewriter and consists of a card reader, a paper tape puncher, a printer, and a magnetic disk. The typewriter thus controls communications between the central computer, the mini computer, and peripheral devices. The performance of a graphic system can be controlled simultaneously by means of another typewriter. This system consists of two DN1250 drafting machines, and a Tektronix cathodic ray tube fitted with a hard copy device. The necessary drawing controls can be obtained both from the magnetic disk and two paper tape readers. Here, for instance, is a feeding onto the card reader of the data necessary for processing. By means of the typewriter, the operator transmits data to the central computer. The latter provides for the processing and returns the results to the peripheral system for initial storage on the magnetic disk. Results can be transmitted from the magnetic disk to the printer or to the graphic system at the same time data is transmitted to the central computer or while results are being received. In the hull design procedure and by employment of the autocom method, the technical department supplies the computer with the ship's internal structure dimensions and geometric description. Such data, which the computer elaborates with the information relating to the hull, provide the structural plans to be submitted to the naval registers for approval. The foundation is therefore laid for any other hull executive work and remains the basis for outfitting of the parking plant arrangements. In order to provide documentation necessary for the withdrawal of raw materials and operational instructions for each worksite, the structure designed is subdivided into blocks, sub-assemblies and parts, the latter representing the elementary production unit. The parts in the structural drawing are isolated, stored in the computer files and obtained graphically on the drawing table on the cathodic ray tube. The cathodic ray tube is the first example of an application capable of steady development in that it allows not only quick visual shaking, but can also become an efficient means of communication between designer and computer. The drawings representing the parts of the painting are composed into plate cutting diagrams. By means of a coordinate reader, it is then possible to detect the exact position of each part on the plate. This information is recorded either manually or on paper tape and sent to the computer. In conformity also with the external outline of the parts, previously stored away, the computer supplies the paper tape that is employed both drawing the cutting diagram for checking purposes and controlling yard and C opti cutting machines. The information already stored furthermore allows the automatic production of graphs and documents for the assembly of parts, sub-assemblies and blocks. Here too, the drawing is performed by means of SI parameter decoding. The usable drawing surface of the Kongsberg terminal drafting machine is 1.50 by 1.20 meters. Maximum drawing speed is 10 meters per minute and precision 2.5 hundredths of a millimeter. 
We have therefore seen how use of the computer in the field of designing establishes a means of communication by which information of a graphic nature may be supplied to the computer itself. The possibility of storing such information for all subsequent employment, including management, and the availability of equipment by means of which we may interpret and utilize operationally what the computer delivers graphically. In addition to graphs, the computer supplies the entire documentation necessary in regard to the materials required and operational instructions for each whole line worksite. Similar computer employment has been developed by the technical department of piping. The technical department defines the data concerning piping runs and sizing by grouping such data into mounting units. The computer supplies the documents for material drawing and for the manufacturing of individual piping elements each unit is composed of. Furthermore, instructions are supplied for MC flange welding and pipe bending machines. All documents thus prepared are forwarded to the company shipyards. We are now at Montfaucon. As far as technical facilities are concerned, this is the most advanced of the company's yards and is at present engaged in the building of a series of 254,000 bedweight ton motor and turbo tankers. The plates necessary for the various working blocks are selected from the plate stockyard. The operator at the control control follows the instructions supplied by the computer for the daily schedule and operates an automatic collector which delivers the plates at the workshop entrance. Still automatically, and after necessary sandblasting and painting, the plates are delivered to the subsequent working stations. The hull line, which was completely rebuilt between 1966 and 1969, can now handle yearly 130,000 tons of steel plates of a maximum length of 17 meters. The plates belonging to the working lot in operation are set on the packing station as programmed previously. The paper tape containing the cutting instructions is placed on the Consworld NC director, which decodes the instructions and transmits them to the cutting machines. In addition to the instructions describing the cutting run already used for the drawing, the tape contains auxiliary operation functions such as heat initiation control, quick shifting, angle slowdown, oxygen cutting turn off, etc. The most common cutting speeds range from 220 to 520 millimeters per minute, or plates up to a thickness of 120 millimeters. The parts thus obtained are moved on to the prefabrication shop, where assembly work begins of the structures that are to form the ship. The prefabrication shop is divided into two days. In one, the aft and forward parts of the ship are built in the traditional way. These parts are subdivided into blocks varying in weight between 15 and 160 tons. The other bay is equipped for sequence working on a 17 meter wide roller. Built here are the blocks which will be part of the cylindrical body of the ship. Their weight amounts to as much as 290 tons. The blocks thus built are shifted to the priority.
relations pertaining to the pipe construction are carried out at the same time. The flanges are welded by automatic machines. The piping elements are furthermore bent according to instructions contained on paper tape. The Reox machine, which can be seen here in operation, can bend 30 to 114 millimeter outside diameter pipes up to 5 meters long. Programs developed by Ita Computing for the setting of pipe bending machine controlled paper tape provide for supplying the machine with the values relating to the various forward, rotation, and bending movements of a complete bending cycle. The pipe is furthermore prevented from interfering with the machine during the working cycle. A part of the pipe thus manufactured is assembled into units conceived in such a way as to avoid painstaking erection on board of the individual elements and to permit a parallel construction of the hull and outfitting elements. These units group together an average of about 50 pipes and weigh approximately 10 tons. The number of pipes mounted with this method amounted to 56% in one of the motor tankers of base construction. 27% was fitted directly onto the hull blocks. In turn, these are then welded together, the hull being built, therefore, in two distinct stages. In fact, by adopting the semi tandem technique in Fukuoka, the aft portion is built first. The aft is erected on the slip, launched and subsequently moved into dry dock. It will represent the starting point for the mounting of the remaining parts of the ship. Three hundred and fifty meters long and fifty six meters wide, and fitted with two three hundred ton gantry cranes, the dry dock has been outfitted since nineteen seventy four with new equipment, namely work units, which permit a quicker mounting of the cylindrical body of the hull. These self moving work units are fitted with mobile platforms fully equipped for block setting operations and automatic working. All these innovations have progressively cut down the lay time of the hull in dry dock. From the laying of the aft portion into the dock to launching, it takes at present 60 working days. After the launching, the ship is completed at the outfitting pier. Thirty first of August, nineteen seventy four. The turbo tanker of the 254,000 deadweight ton series leaves Monte Corno shipyards. Thanks to the techniques and installations illustrated, and to the policy of keeping abreast of production technologies, this ship was designed and built within a span of time once unthinkable. It is evidence of the steady evolution which characterizes international shipbuilding to which the ever broader employment of data processing techniques and of highly organized and sophisticated equipment contributes to a very large extent.